Damn it, Charles. Those accursed sea storms. If only we'd been here earlier. No, no. But as Charles would say, another day, another soul to save. These people have no idea what they're up against. You'll be the banishers then? Come too late. I'm sorry, but if poor Minister Davenport mentioned your names, I have forgotten them. Ante Duarte. This fellow here is Red McGraith. Of course. I'm Lisbeth O'Hara. The minister said you'd have questions. Well? Governor Haskell told us of the curse. I'd like to understand what it is and from where it came. While I'll not speak ill of my neighbours, someone must have let the evil in. A name might help. I'll not poison my parish with loose chatter. Besides, I have no name to give you. What are you doing out here? Most people seem to stay indoors. Since you ask, I came to town to buy a remedy for Mistress Fitcher. My sister has a sore leg. The salve eases her discomfort. We have a small farm, some miles from here. And yes, the curse sits there too. Did you know Charles Davenport? Of course I knew the minister. My sister and I attended all his services, and grateful we were too. He was the moral foundation stone of the colony. His poor widow. She must be bereft. You may have your time back, with my thanks. Well, thank the Lord for that. We should go to Esther. I think the governor said that house stood above the docks. barely slept for fear you would not come. I'm at a loss. Would God even allow me to drag you into these... these dark times? Esther, you're not alone now. We're here. I'm so sorry we didn't get here on time. Truly. I know. Charles kept saying it. Have faith. They will come. If only he had kept his faith himself. What happened to him? Poor Charles. Just one more victim of the curse of New Eden. You know how he is. Was. Restless. Impatient. It's not that he gave up on you, his friends. But that he could wait no more. I believe he tried to lift the curse. I too have questions, but I have no answers. Nor do I now have a husband. Is there anything we should know about? 
Lord, deliver me, for I cannot endure this. I cannot endure it, and Charles does not deserve it. Anything at all, Esther. Please. I have felt Charles present about the house. His ghost lingers. He needs help. If he's here, I promise I will know no rest until he has his. You can count on us. We'll start with the house. Charles's papers are gathered in his office. Take what you need. Thank you, Esther. How were things, you know, before all this? Before the curse? It was a busy and exciting time. Charles immersed himself in the community here. He had a hand in everything. The people came to rely on him. I'm sure they look to someone else now. But I can't imagine it's the same. What can you tell me about the esteemed Governor Haskell? Fairfax Haskell is well read and educated. But at times his back can be too stiff. He shares Charles's interest in the unknown. But his passion seems less than practical. He is an academic. Still, good to know our patron has some understanding of our work. We met the captain, too, along with the huntress, Thickskin. Do you know them? I find Thickskin knew Smith's manner a little frightening, but I think she has a good heart. A fine hunter, by all accounts. Captain Pennington comes with a reputation for soldiering. He comports himself with a wry dignity, but I suspect that beneath it all, he's just... sad. Charles thought so, too. There are wounds beneath Saul Pennington's armor, he said, that time and God have not yet healed. We'll take a look around, if that's all right. May I be of any help? You stay put. We'll find the way. Purcell, could you find nothing better? These days I lack the heart to play. Can't believe you brought your piano forte to New England. It cost a fortune. But you cannot part a pianist from their beloved keys. How pleasant to see these old, familiar things from your house in London. That porcelain saw many a dinner-turned-lecture with Charles. I miss him so. So do we, Esther. This is Charles's. It's like he never left. There's more to learn here. 
Have you received other visitors? Most dare not leave their homes. Although Mr. Bachelor came to see me, that was nice of him. I didn't know Elnor and Charles were still in touch. The St. Paul Brotherhood is a tie that binds. Charles was so eager to continue his research here in New Eden. If only we had known what would befall us. Charles is still here and Esther is completely distraught. She lost him and now he's back, a ghastly figure. It must be unbearable. Charles always wore this brooch. His things are untouched. Nothing's moved. Remember how they used to argue about books we hadn't read? <laughs> like we weren't there? Oh, you actually listened. I'd always let my mind wander. Esther couldn't attend Charles's burial. Poor woman. That's terrible for her. Esther never got to say farewell to Charles. I could have made him manifest. Maybe, but there has to be more to it. Faith always was his beacon in the darkness. In people as much as in God. He's a good man. Remember when he started to wear these? To look wiser and older? <laughs> he was hiding his hair loss. That's from the set he taught me with. I'd know it anywhere. Did he keep it to remind them of his favorite? Or to remind him that he had yet to beat me? I can still picture him crafting your very first Bane ring. You sound much more fond of the moment now than you were back then. Bit green for an actual haunting, you said. <laughs> you were. Still, you did all right.
Charles's notes mention Job chapter 7, verses 13 to 15. I'll look for that reference. Red, you dropped something. Hmm? These notes are erratic ramblings. Charles was worried about the curse plaguing the settlers' dreams. How malicious is this curse tormenting people in their beds? Charles's ghost might give us answers. We should investigate the cemetery where he was found. Are you leaving already? We need to investigate the cemetery. What will you do for my Charles? If he's present, we'll find him. Then we'll ask him what he wants us to do. Must I see him too? First, let's find out what happened. After that, we'll see. Best get started. Time may be against us. You'll be alright. I doubt it. But I'll do my work all the same. We came here to help Charles and help Charles we shall. Ask around. See what people will tell you. I'll go to the cemetery and do the same. Be careful. Aye. You too. <laughs> 